Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I hope your week is going great so far, but if it's not, it's about to get way better because today we're going to talk about fractions. Oh yeah, nothing is better than fractions except for everything. <laughs> Let's face it, we all have to do fractions at some point in MText and I'm going to turn you into a fraction expert because that will totally impress your friends. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just happen to have some M text on my screen, so I'm going to go into the M text editor and let's do some fractioning. Woo, yippee. Okay, so I'm going to type in one half. As soon as I hit the space bar, AutoCAD says, oh, wait, I bet she wished that was a fraction. Okay, so if you'll see that the Harry Potter lightning bolt is right beneath my fraction. It defaults to horizontal where one is above the other. What if I want diagonal? Click on the Harry Potter lightning bolt and you can easily switch it to diagonal. What else can I do? Well, I could say I didn't want it to be a fraction and I can unstack it just in case it was an accident. Like if it was a date. Have you ever had that happen? <laughs> it stacks your date. <laughs> um, you can also go to stack properties. Let's take a look at stack properties. So if later on down the road you realize that you have the wrong value, you can easily come in here and make changes to it. Okay. You can also control the style. You, you, we saw horizontal and diagonal. We're going to come back and talk about tolerance and decimal. All right. Position. So here you've got your text, bottom, baseline, and the top. Do you want it to do the fraction relative to the top, relative to the baseline, or do you want it to put it right in the middle? That's up to you. And, of course, we have the ability to control how big our fractions are. Defaults to 70, so 70% 70 of the total text height. You can make that bigger or smaller. You can actually set it all the way to 125, even though it doesn't tell you that. Impress your friends. All the way down to 25, even though that's not an option either. When you hit an OK, you'll see that now the text is very large, and I changed it to one-fifth. All right? Okay, let's take a look at tolerances. So if you have an existing fraction, you can click on the Harry Potter lightning bolt. You can go to the stack properties and let's take a look at tolerance. So now that you'll see you get the upper lower value and it does get rid of the line. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. You can see that, right? So it gets rid of the line in the middle. Okay, it's a tolerance. What about this guy here? Well, first of all, he didn't stack because AutoCAD was like, I don't know what that is. There's decimals in there. There's a forward slash, I don't know what she wanted. If it doesn't stack for you and you want it to stack, right click, go to stack in the menu, easy, 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 and it will stack it for you. All right, so let me show you the decimal option, which you absolutely have to see to understand. If you look at this, you will see that the decimals are not lined up. If I click on here and I go into the Harry Potter lightning bolt to stock properties, I can switch it to decimal, which will also turn it into a tolerance, but you will see that the decimal points will line up. Will line up. Did I tell you you're going to become an expert on fractions? <laughs> Way more than you ever wanted to know. But you can see what happened there, right? So it lined them up and it turned them into basically a tolerance. All right, what else can we do? <laughs> if I say one and a half and hit the space bar, you can see, once again, Harry Potter lightning bolt, you have control whether or not it keeps that space between the whole number and the fraction. If I go into auto stack, you will see that there's an option for remove the leading blank and it gives you this nice value right there. And you probably want it to remove the leading blank or the, the leading space blank. All right, so you can see what happened there, right? If not, it would keep the space there. All right, what else? You can turn auto stacking off if it offends you if you want to spend more time. You can make the default diagonal versus horizontal, you know, whatever you prefer. And then it gives you this amazing cryptic code that will really impress your friends. If you want, you can change the auto stacking, you can avoid the auto stacking, you can override it by using your own top secret code. If you do the first number and then you use the number sign, or the hashtag, or whatever you want to call it, and then you do the second number, it will automatically know that you want to do diagonal. Some of you know this from the old days. Or you can do the first number, and then you can use the character that's above the six, which looks like a hat. <laughs> and then you can do the second number, and it will know that you want to stack it. So these are options for you. Stack it horizontally, sorry. Or horizontally. So those are pretty cryptic, but once again, if you are on AutoCAD Jeopardy, this is going to really come in handy. Okay, so 
I think that covers everything in the world of, of stacking fractions. Now, if things go terribly wrong, you should know that you can always restore from the defaults and put it back to the way it was when you first loaded AutoCAD. I highly recommend that you do that if it goes terribly wrong, okay? All right. So there you have it. Now you are a fraction expert. Your week just got so much better. Oh yeah, I know it did. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Hey, I'll see you back here in two more weeks.